All right, ladies and gentlemen, um, I was just uh, in a uh, discussion with one of my viewers and um, wanted to know how you could get online with VIC-20. Well, I've already produced a video on that, but I never really showed people more details about the modem itself that I'm using. So here I'm going to do just that. But six months ago, well, actually, let's let's go a little bit further. I'll, I'll say about ten months ago, I purchased this on uh, on eBay. I think I got it for about thirty five, thirty six dollars, something like that. But anyways, it's a Commodore sixty four auto modem. Well, it works with just about any Commodore computer. And I'll show you the inside of the book. Well, I'll show you the back of the box first. Here's a description of some of the things that it does. The auto modem has the ability to automatically dial and answer your phone electronically, making your computer connection fast, easy, and mistake proof. The auto modem lets your VIC 20 or C64 talk to information services, computer bulletin boards, other computers, even play games with friends. Simply plug the auto modem into your VIC or 64 and connect it to your telephone. You don't need to remember long lists of phone numbers. The auto, the auto modem and software do all that for you. You can let the auto modem answer incoming calls from other computer users without being there. The voice and data switch frees you from connecting and disconnecting your modem every time you want to communicate. Auto modem has selectable full and half duplex capacity including free Victorm 1 and Term 64 software cassette. Note, software does not utilize auto-answer, auto-dial capabilities. Okay, timely up-to-date financial information, stock quotes, trading volumes, account ratios, investment reports, and more. Well, this is what you can do from home on this computer, apparently. Research power, the same up-to-the-minute newswire service reporters use, reference libraries, articles, and abstracts. Sounds a little like the internet almost, doesn't it? An electronic post office that lets you send and receive important messages, data, programs, all by computer. Email. <laughs> Telephone shopping services. Use your computer to price, compare, and buy almost anything from airline tickets to stereo equipment. Now isn't this just amazing that I bought this on something like that called eBay? Anyways, computerized entertainment, fantasy and adventure games, restaurant guides, wine information, astrological forecasts, educational programs. Your C64 or VIC-20 and the automotive provide an inexpensive powerful introduction to the growing world of telephone computer services. If you do not have a modular telephone or modular phone plug, you may purchase Commodore's RS-232C interface cartridge, which may be used to connect your computer to a standard RS-232 modem. Let's see this. Nope. Oh. That was the kind letter that I got from the uh, lady I bought this off of eBay. Pogo Fuzz. Anyways, here is the auto modem manual. There you see it. There's some FCC information, just your basic table of contents. Description of the item, where you plug it in, how it's hooked up, etc. etc. And they talk about duplex, half duplex, all that stuff. Which control keys do what in the program. For those of you who are do-it-yourselfers, there's a listing or a basic program listing to create your own terminal program. Automatic answer and dial code.
And that's it for the manual. Here's the modem itself. Auto modem. There's where you'd plug the phone in, and there's where you'd plug you know, the line in. Oh yes, now here's where it gets a little bit more complicated on this older version of the modem. This has two switches. When you're using the modem, you have to choose whether or not you want it to answer incoming calls or whether or not you want it to do the transmitting or the outgoing of a call. If I put it to A, that means it's on auto answer. If I switch it back to O, outgoing. The top switch is telephone and data. When we've got it in telephone mode, we can dial up on our regular phone line, have our phone conversations or whatever. And you also need to keep it in telephone mode in order to dial on to the BBS or um, on the internet service or whatever you're using. And then you switch it to data the moment you get a dial tone. Then you can put the receiver down and the computer takes over itself. Here is the most important thing, the one vital item that makes it all work. This is your terminal program. This is the Commodore 64 side. Other side is a VIC-20 cassette, VIC-TERM-1. Pop it in the tape drive, wait for it to load. When you get the ready prompt, you type run, and that's pretty much it. Oh yes, and there is another type of modem that I have, very quickly. This is a more advanced version of the auto modem, really. With this one, you don't have to do any switches. You don't have to touch any switches on it at all. It'll use the same Victorm 1 cassette. But for this modem, all you need to know is the ATDT, Alt Tone, Dial Tone commands. It's a much simpler modem, but just for the sake of nostalgia and for getting the cassette itself, I wanted this one. But anyways, that's the details. Uh, wait, maybe there is one more thing I can do for you. Show you where it connects. Maybe you're not aware of where it would connect on a VIC-20. So I'll take the liberty of showing you. Here is the VIC. That port right there. That's the modem. Or the user port as it's called. But I like to think of it as the modem port. Modem goes in there like that. And now what you do is I got to put my phone back in and put my telephone back in the line there. Okay, that's not necessary, but anyways. 
the line would go back in there and go back into the wall outlet and you would never miss any of your phone calls anyways folks I hope it's been informative for you hope it answers some of your questions on how it works and that's it for all or for now sorry have a good night thank you bye bye